Hey everyone, my name is Michael Binsky and welcome to Storm Photos of the Year. I'm a storm chaser, storm photographer, filmmaker, time lapser. I've been doing this for over 10 years now. I uh, Every year I chase for about five to six months across the central US after supercells and tornadoes back home to where I live in Arizona uh, after the monsoon and dust storms and incredible lightning and colors and um, photographing storms is just one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I have been thinking about starting this photo contest for a couple years now. It's a huge passion of mine to recognize all the amazing storm photographers out there. I have met so many of you in my journeys across this country, across Arizona, uh, seeing your photos from here, but also see the photos you take across this world. And a lot of you I haven't met. I see so many great photos from Canada, from Australia, Germany, France, Italy, Slovenia, uh, Kuwait. I mean, there are so many places where the storms are happening and not everybody gets to see those. And a lot of times they pop up on your Twitter feed or your news feed on Facebook or Instagram and then they're gone. The whole idea behind this contest is to create a place where we can recognize the artists and recognize those photos that blow our minds every year. That's what I want this contest to be. I want to be the place, the gold standard for the best storm photos that are taken every year. And I cannot wait to see what is entered from 2020. There were some incredible photos captured last year. It wasn't the best year for tornadoes here in the United States, but across the border in Canada, they were amazing. But that's, this whole contest is not just about tornadoes. It's about supercell structure. It's about composition. It's about editing. We saw incredible lightning photos from France this year. Amazing dust storm haboob photos from Australia. There are photos taken all over the place and it doesn't have to be the greatest tornado you ever saw or the best rainbow you ever saw. It's all of it. We want to see the best of the best. Photos that are unique, dramatic, gorgeous colors, amazing, unique uh, situations that we don't see a lot of. And I can't wait to see again what you guys enter. I'm really excited for the judges uh, this year. We're starting small. We're gonna grow next year. We wanna be more diverse and we wanna have different opinions. Um, but as this is kind of our initial year, I wanted to go with my two really good friends, Mike Mejuel and Nick Page, along with myself as being judges. We are all uh, seasoned uh, storm chasers, at least um, me and Mike. Nick loves storms. He shoots storms, but he's one of the best, most insanely talented uh, landscape photographers out there. His editing is beautiful. He knows how to critique photos. He teaches and he's the perfect person to have alongside um, Mike and I who chase storms a lot. Um, he's a great counterpart to look at these images and determine overall, you know, which ones are the greatest, have the greatest composition and editing and color and, and um, technical um, quality. I want to say thank you to um, the people who have helped me. Uh, Mike, again, Mejuel, helped me months ago with figuring out the concept for this, figuring out how it works, giving me his backstory on contests. He's judged and how they work and gave me a lot of good ideas that we're using. Uh, Paige Vincent for doing the logo and proofreading the site and changing some of the styles and the fonts for me to make it look better. David Erickson for doing back-end stuff, helping with the shopping cart and entry forms and all this stuff to get that perfect. Hopefully it's perfect. I'm sure we'll run into trouble, but um, that's the same with any kind of startup uh, website or business or contest. And again, thank you to Mike and Nick for being judges. Um, I'm so excited to do this with you. I know it's gonna be a lot of work. Um, also really, really fun and probably a little stressful, especially thanks to our sponsors, to Lightning Trigger 4, uh, I don't know if you guys use Lighting Trigger 4, but it is uh, probably the best one out there. Uh, I use it. I have a couple of them. It's great. I'm so excited that Rich, who uh, makes those over there, is part of our contest. He's amazing. Been very kind to me over the years. Magnachrome Metal Prints. They are providing metal prints for each of the winners of the two categories that we have. And I'm so excited you'll get a 20 by 30 print of your winning photo and especially for a lot of us who don't print stuff i think that's a pretty cool award and davis instruments providing a vantage view suite in an air quality sensor to this contest i'm so so grateful for them i'm real excited about 
the concept of our contest and how we're doing it um, in comparison with others. We want this to be a safe space for you artists out there to enter your photos and not feel like you're signing your rights away. We're not collecting a database of images to use commercially. This is solely here to give you recognition and we will be of course using your images to promote this contest and you and um, sharing those photos on Instagram and our social media channels as the photos come in. We can't wait to do that. We'll be linking and tagging to you guys wherever possible. Again, the purpose of this contest is to create an archive where every year we can look back and see the best of the best from the year before. And also, I hope you guys get more out of it than just the awards and seeing the photos. We are going to be doing video critiques of the different parts of the contest when we get down to the selections for like the top 20 or 30, then we'll do a critique for the top 10, and then we'll do a live Zoom award show where we hopefully will get the winners to come on and talk about their winning photo. Uh, I'm real excited for that. I'm real excited for where this contest is gonna go. This year is the first launch. We only have two awards, but next year I'm already thinking bigger. We're gonna look at tornado photo of the year, lightning photo of the year, rainbow photo of the year. Who knows where it's gonna go? Um, but I'm excited. Uh, to see where this leads us this year and what's possible next year. So enter your photos and look forward to seeing the results and then get out there in 2021 and get to work, take some amazing pictures and come back here in 2022 and we will do this all over again. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. I'm so excited about this uh, contest and um, thank you, thank you, thank you.